Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. We're continuing our series with the PHP Storm 2020.1 EAP3 overview. In this video, we'll look at the updated PHP unit support, the various new additions for PHP, and the improved Git branches workflow. PHP Unit 9 has just been released, and PHP Storm will aid you with some of the required upgrades for your code base. For a quick start, Press Alt plus Enter on a class and use the new Creates New PHP Test Intention Action. Now, we'll add some basic assertions, but it looks like we've got some warnings in our code we should deal with first. Let's go through them one by one. Before, the Expected Exception tag was used for indicating that a test method should throw an exception. Now, PHP Storm highlights it as deprecated. This is also the case for Expected Exception Code, expected exception message, and expected exception message reg exp. By using the quick fix, you can replace such annotations with the respective method calls. To assert virtually any condition, we can use the assert true method. For example, here, we check if a key exists in an array. In PHP Unit 9, a more descriptive array has key method can be used. The same works for asserting the inverse condition. When asserting array sizes, you can now convert assert equals calls to assert count and assert same size. Earlier, the assert equals method had four optional parameters such as delta. Now you can use the quick fix. Whoops, looks like we've mixed up the expected and actual values here. Let's fix it right away. And now we can upgrade the method to a more specific one. Lastly, the assert internal type method that checks whether a variable is of some primitive type can now be replaced with a modernized version too. This EAP build brings a couple of enhancements for PHP. First, if a property's type declaration does not match the default value, PHP Storm will let you change its type or make it nullable. Second, if param tags only contain the type info, you can now remove it with an intention action. In this version, we've added a couple of new live templates, which expand a class FQN or class name inside the current class. What's more, there are two new similar functions, which you can use inside a live template. As an example, let's create a template that will expand to a named constructor for the current class. In the preferences, go to Editor, Live Templates. Here, we provide the template abbreviation and the boilerplate text. For the class name variable, we simply set the expression value to the PHP class name function call. That's it! Our live template can now be applied in any class and it'll expand into the named constructor snippet for this class. In the bottom right corner of the window, you will notice the current git branch is specified. Click on it to open a pop-up and access all the branches. This pop-up now has its own search bar, so that you can locate the desired branch faster. Next to it, there's a refresh button. Click it to update the existing remote branches and check out the new incoming and outgoing commit indicators. This sums up the major new features in the latest PHP Storm EAP build. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates coming your way next week.